Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This time we're looking at boosting FPS and reducing lag and stutters in Rainbow Six Siege. Now with the recent implementation of Vulkan API into Rainbow Six, we have a few more ways to dramatically increase frame rate in this game. Alright, let's get into it. Let's start off with the simple stuff and move on to the more advanced fixes later on. Uh, first and foremost, go to your Windows Power Settings. To get there, simply search Power in Windows Search Bar and click on the Choose Power Plan result that comes up. And in there, you will see all the available power plans for your PC. Now, especially if you're using a gaming laptop, by default, the power plan selected by Windows is called Balanced. You need to change that to High Performance Power Plan to get the most out of your system. Now, if you don't see High Performance Power Plan in the list, Click on the show additional power plans button and it should be in there. Now there's a higher level power plan called ultimate performance which can give even better performance on games but that power plan is hidden in most PCs. To learn how to enable that and improve all your overall performance in Windows, go ahead and watch my Windows performance guide, that'll be useful. Okay so once you have enabled high performance power plan. Next, you have to go to your Windows settings. To get there, simply click on the Windows Start button and then go to System Settings. And in there, go into the Gaming section. And in there, you will see the Game Bar option on the left side. Uh, make sure to turn the Game Bar off because this sometimes affects the performance of games, especially if you are on a lower end system. And also make sure the Game Mode is turned on because uh, in the tests I've done, Game mode actually helps with RAM usage, so if you're on a lower RAM system, turning on game mode will reduce the stutters and lag spikes you might experience. Alright, now that we have done that, next we need to go to the install location of Rainbow Six Siege. Now navigate to the folder that contains the .exe file of Rainbow Six Siege and once you get there, right click on the Rainbow Six.exe file and go to properties. Then go to compatibility tab and select disable full screen optimization options and click on override high dpi scaling behavior and in there make sure application option is selected in the drop, drop down menu then click on apply and ok and you're done now make sure to apply the same fix to the rainbow six siege vulcan exe file too because uh, most of the time we will be launching rainbow six siege on vulcan option once you have done all that launch the game using vulcan api on Steam, it will give the option to launch Vulkan or DirectX mode when you click the play button on Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, so select the launch with Vulkan option because this mode gives us a few extra ways to improve performance even more. Once you're in the game, head over to graphics option of the game and scroll down to the option that's called Adaptive Render Scaling Target FPS. Uh, once you select that option, uh, set that option to 60 FPS. This will force the game to target 60 FPS by lowering the resolution when FPS drops below 60 FPS. If your PC can play this game at or near 60 FPS, setting these options to 60 will result in a solid 60 FPS gameplay, so you won't see that much of a, a stutter or in inconsistencies in the frame rate. If your computer runs this game around 30 to 40 FPS, then I recommend setting this to target 30 FPS. So it'll give you a solid 30 FPS performance because if you sit at set 60 FPS and your computer cannot reach that target, then there's no point in doing this fix. So once you have done all that, click on apply and then you have you are pretty much done with the graphics options. Okay, so for this last fix, once you're in the game, click Alt and Tab key on your keyboard to return to desktop. Once you're in the desktop, open Task Manager. Uh, now, if you don't know how to open Task Manager, all you have to do is click on the Start button and search for Task Manager in the Windows search bar. Once you're in the Task Manager, go ahead and find Rainbow Six Siege process. Now, it should be in one of the top four processes. Once you have found that, right-click on it and click on Go to Details. And in there, click on the Rainbow Six underscore Vulkan dot exe process. Now, select that process and right click on it and click on set priority and set that priority to high. Now setting priority, setting the game priority to high will force Windows to allocate more resources to that process. So in theory it should give you more performance. Now 
one important thing to note is that this sp specific fix, this task manager fix, uh, you need to do this every time you turn on your game because once you have once you close the game all the everything just goes back to default so every time you open rainbow six siege you have to go to task manager and set the priority to high so that's all the fixes i wanted to show you and hopefully at least one of these fixes help you get help you get a few more frames in the game and if it did help make sure to like this video and if you want to see more of these videos click on the subscribe button and also I have tons of more videos for games like uh, Call of Duty Warzone, CSGO and so on. So go ahead and check those videos out as well if you want to. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.